So it is all about Stoke now. How have the last six weeks been? I mean, how much are you missing the the camaraderie, the the, the, the training ground banter, the day to day interaction with players? Yeah, I think you do miss that. You know, it, it's uh, always a little bit different as the manager. I think you know you have to you, you know there's you can be close to the players, but at times you can't be too close. Uh, uh, but I, I think that uh, just just the work, I, I like to, you know, be very involved in the work and the training pitch and the planning and the strategy of that and the preparation for games. And, you know, that's the purpose to your week is, is, is exactly that. You know, at the end of it, you have a game to play and hopefully a game to win. And, and that gives purpose to your week. So, you know, missing the games and missing obviously the the the, the build up to the games and the preparations is, is has been difficult. I think the break came when the break came. I was kind of glad of it because it had been, you know, I'd I'd not really had any chance to catch my breath since coming in at Stoke, um, with the games coming around so quickly, and uh, so it gave me a time to reflect. But now I'm in a situation where I would much prefer to be back in 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 the in, in the hot seat, you know, back in the dugout. And, and obviously trying to finish the season. So, um, but we have used the time wisely. You know, we're obviously the players are training remotely, they're training individually, and we're monitoring that very closely. Um, but it's given us a little bit of time to reflect on um, what we've done at the club and the time we've been there, and also given us the opportunity to sort of look at what we'd like to try and do going forward. Albeit that's a little bit difficult given obviously the uncertainty around uh, when we'll be playing again and, and uh, other factors as well. Yeah, I was going to make, come on to that. I mean, obviously you'll be looking at players, but who knows what the next transfer window is going to look like. It's very difficult, isn't it? It is very difficult and we will be, um, you know, we, we, we will have a lot of players under contract. So it's not like we're in a situation where we're necessarily, you know, we need 10 or 12 players to to. Uh, build a squad we certainly won't need numbers but what we want to do is obviously add quality and, and, and strengthen the team as well so but we have to be selective in doing that because you know we can't just pile make ourselves a club that's top heavy in players and, and you know, I think that was a challenge for me when I come in was adapting to that and, and having to move players out whether that be on a permanent or a temporary basis um, so we'll have that challenge probably again in this window, uh, and and that that that's you know as I say part of the job. But we, we are looking at players that we th we think can can help us. Um, there is areas positions in the team that we feel we need to strengthen, positions in the squad that we need to strengthen as well. But the landscape and how it's going to look in terms of player availability, um, the financial aspects of players, you know it could the club could be in quite a strong position, but equally. You know, no one knows what uh, what that will be until obviously we come through this situation. I know you're speaking regularly to your coaching staff. What about the players? Are you having uh, close uh, contact communication with them as well? Yeah, we we have communication. We've had we've had the calls with the players. Um, we've had uh, you know swapping messages, and they're in different group chats, and they probably communicate more with um, the uh, the fitness staff on a sort of day-to-day -day weekly basis. Um, we'll probably touch base with them again next week in, in terms of when we're a little bit clear on, on is there a start date or we, have we get a little bit more clarity and when we can train again. But I, th I think, you know, uh, the players, they need time with their families as well. They don't need us on top of them all the time as if we're, we're, we're monitoring them too closely. It's a difficult scenario for players. Um, but equally, we've made ourselves available to any of the players if they feel they need help or support. But equally, you know, they're with their families now. The players who um, are not local players have gone back to their respective countries, and and that was important that they were able to get home so that they could, you know, be in a better environment than possibly being stuck in, in a, you know a flat or a house uh, locally. So as I say, we just want to get get ourselves up and running again as quickly as possible. But um, unfortunately, that decision obviously lies in the hands of the authorities at this moment in time.